Uh, Linda Ronstadt, to put it quite simply, is a, is a marvelous singer. Uh, she's won two Grammy Awards, nominated for six. She currently has a uh, free record package out called Round Midnight, and included in it is her latest album called For Sentimental Reasons, which she dedicated to the late Nelson Riddle. Would you welcome, please, Linda Ronstadt. I learned from the singing of Jiminy Cricket, who is uh, a singer I've greatly admired for years. And uh, Jiminy had a, had a great version of this tune, but it was kind of deadly earnest, you know, and I wanted something that had just a little bit more attitude. So I started looking around at other versions of it to see if I could get inspiration. And um, the only other recorded version I could find was by Donald Duck. <laughs> so, but it was, um, Donald had the great take on it, you know, it was like, fairly dripping with sex. It was really good. So I decided to combine the Jiminy version with the Donald version. And this is what I got. Seeing as how it's a song about wishing on stars, um, I'm going to sing it on the moon. Can I have my moon, please? Sometimes you get what you ask for. <clears throat> okay. Whoa. Here I go. <laughs> Take me away now. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference.
that is, uh, that's real class, isn't it? Yeah. Strings, you sounded marvelous. Yes. <laughs> Great number. We'll be back in a moment, right after this, with Linda. If you just tuned in, that's too bad, because you missed two marvelous numbers. You sing so great. I'm an un unabashed fan of yours. You got... Yeah. Huh? She said she was a little nervous about the moon. Now, did you did you bring your own moon, or is that something? That's my moon. That's your moon? You... Yeah, I'll tell you, even in the nights I don't get stage fright, I get moon fright. I, moon fright, I'm always afraid I'm going to come tumbling off of that thing. And when we do it in concert, it goes way up high, of course. Yeah, and because I want you a couldn't though. notice, because we're, Bobby shot us straight on, because you're moving... Kind of this way, aren't well, you? Well, I was kind of high. I told them not to shoot the floor so they couldn't tell how high up I was. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 you've, now you've recorded three albums of American standards, right? So you really, you, right. you accomplished what you started not to do. I think you said once that you wanted to take the music out of the elevator or something like that. I wanted to take it out of being taken for granted so much. I mean, yeah. those songs are just brilliant little pieces of American craftsmanship, you know, and, uh, I just, uh, I had the best time I've ever had musically doing these, doing these records. I just, it seemed like I went to sleep and went, had a beautiful dream, and when I woke up, I had these three records, and I can't believe it's all done, but it is. Yeah, are you finding that the young people, because you, you've run the, you've, uh, as they say, crossover, from the rock to opera to standards, uh, <laughs> that there also, there's a resurgence in, in the really great standard music? <laughs> Well, you said last night you were in St. Louis and you did a rock concert last night. I was in St. Louis last night with Chuck Berry, who was 60 years old, and I, we were we were singing rock and roll, you know. And people somehow get this idea that rock and roll comes full blown out of the head of Zeus, that it had no roots in anything except right. for Chuck Berry's mind. But you know, his uh, direct influence was Nat King Cole, so it comes around full circle. You know, um, I did a song on uh, this new album called "For Sentimental Reasons" that is just when between the 40s and the 50s right. when. Uh, standard songs turn, started to turn into rock and roll because there's a triplet feel in the rhythm section. Right. It just starts up. It's just when the, the uh, ink spots turn into doo-wop, you know? And so I put it on the record. Nelson complained about it a little bit because there wasn't a lot for the orchestra to do. <coughs> but I wanted to have a segue from that yeah. into, into the present time, which I'm... Now I'm back in the 80s here. <laughs> I don't know if I can take it. That's great stuff. Well, it was a Louis Armstrong who said about music. He said there are only two kinds of music, good and bad. That's true, boy. I'll tell you. <laughs> and that's all that's good. Right. Anything you don't want to talk about tonight? I know the question they always ask you, and I won't ask it. <laughs> Which question is that going to be, John? I want, I, want, I want to ask. People are always trying to get you married off. They're saying, when are you going to get married? <laughs> yes. Was that a question? Were you asking me this question? Well, it wasn't a proposal. I, I mean... It, uh... No, I can tell that. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> no, but don't you get tired of that? I don't I know why do people ask that same question. I mean, it's that. personal, I, first of all. I'm always very tempted to ask people sort of questions like, how often have they been married, you know? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what you should do yeah. when somebody asks you that. Which is one of the reasons that I've never been married. You see? Yeah. <laughs> I figure, why bother? You know. <laughs> when you were when you were when you were uh, when you were really young, who did you listen? to? Who affected you, music, uh, music wise? Oh, everybody. I mean, I am really a product of the Great American Radio. Yeah. You know, um, I listened to Hank Williams and uh, my dad played me Billy Holiday. First, before everything was Mexican music, because my right. father sang to me always in Spanish, and my grandfather. You're going to do a thing Spanish. called a. Uh, the rancheras are yeah i'm i've been singing with uh the mariachi vargas who are the best mariachi in the world and um we've been doing concerts together i know four songs now i yeah. sit in on their concerts it's great i don't have any responsibility i put them in a big skirt and i go down and sing four songs have the time of my life do you, you know, know spanish you do it phonetically or i s can sing in spanish uh without too much trouble i can speak a little spanish but you know it's the kind of thing where your grandmother and your dad will speak as fast as they can and they gossip about all the other things that are going on in the family and they don't teach you so that you can't understand you know when right. you're a little kid it's like amazingly fast and um i'm trying to catch up a little bit now you know i can understand my dad pretty well good you know. when we come back you're going to do one of my favorite now everything you do is one of my favorite numbers but you know, <laughs> yeah, I, like I, mean, this. I mean that flattery okay. it does me so flattery will get me everywhere <laughs> we'll take a break we're coming right back Picture 
thou hast made Thy vacant brow and thy tousled hair Conceal thy good intent Thou noble, upright, truthful, sincere And slightly dopey gent You're my funny valentine Sweet comic valentine You make me smile with my heart Your looks are laughable Unphotographable Still you're my favorite work of art Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you Don't change your name.